What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Tom from the Gun Gamer Duo here, the one that slaps his mic because doesn't know how to control his hands, uh, doing a Pokemon Platinum version Soul Link with Joy, of all people. I'm super excited to be doing it with Joy, so if you want to. Again, yeah. yeah. In, uh, in our last series together, we did a Wedlock Cage Lock in Ruby and Sapphire, so getting back to working together it's gonna is going to be really, really fun. Um... So one thing that you guys need to know, in a soul link, I'll kind of explain the rules and everything that's going on. So basically, Joy and I are going to be cooperatively working together to the, get to the end goal, which is beating the champion. How of which do we do that? Well, Joy and I are not allowed to have Pokemon with the same primary typing. So in order to do that, uh, we got to build our team around that, which makes it a little bit more of a challenge because... I can't just be like, hey, Joy, do you want this fire type? I got a nice Entei here. You can have a Charizard. No, that does not work. You cannot do that. So, exactly. and then, of course, all the other typical Nuzlocke rules apply, which I will go ahead and explain for you guys, too, <laughs> which is nickname every Pokemon. You, If a Pokemon faints, it is dead, but different than a normal thing. If something dies on my side, it dies on Joy's side. So I got to be even more careful. Yeah. Uh, whatever it is paired to in the link of souls, yeah. it will perish as well. And for the Nuzlocke rules, our naming theme is going to be fantasy football related. Yes. So we're going to try to build our, our pairings and our team as if we are building a fantasy football team together. Now, I'm at the rival screen already. Do you want to explain what we're doing for the rivals. So for the rival, Joy and I decided we we're going to pick a quarterback that annoys the bejeebies out of us. A quarterback in mm. football is the person who throws the football and is the main captain of the team. So having the rival be the main captain of a team, figure that would make the most sense. So yeah, I, in full transparency, I was going to name my rival Quintricia for the Bob Quinn, Matt Patricia era of the Lions because I'm very mad at them. But um, we decided to go with QBs instead. So, I mean, they got a. Uh, what QB are you choosing? I'm choosing Kyler Murray, who he gives me the most stress and anxiety out of all the quarterbacks in my division. He also plays Call of Duty all the time, and, you know, that's always fun. Freaking distraction level. It's over 9,000, I swear. Honestly. And what quarterback are you choosing? Okay. Um, I am choosing uh, Mitch Trubisky. <laughs> because apparently he was the Lions killer during his time in Chicago. And if you guys know me, you know that as a Lions fan, I hate the Bears. That's literally one of my tags in every NFL video I do is Frick the Bears. So. <laughs> Hashtag Frick the Bears. Good job, Mitch. He just be doing his thing. It's fine. Um, yeah, Mitch, Mitch be Mitch. Yeah, he be doing his thing. <laughs> so, um... Obviously, we're going to be going to get our starters. In Platinum, the way that our starters are is really nice because you don't have to go do side quest over side quest over side quest over side quest to get your starters. Oh my god, I love that, yeah. Because in Diamond, it's completely different. So in Diamond, you have to go do some... You have to talk to Professor Rowan. You have to do a whole bunch of things. And then you can't get your starter until you go to Lake Verity, until you do this. Like, yeah. it's a lot more open. I, I wish I had running shoes. That is a wish. By the way. Yeah, you don't get them for a minute. Yeah. Yet you have Kyler freaking Mitch freaking just like, let me run everywhere and be hyper energetic. Honestly, though, like, well, who is your favorite Pokemon rival just in general? Um, hmm. I kind of like Wally. I know people don't say that he is a rival, but... He's his entire story arc is kind of fun, so I would probably say Gen three, just in general, uh, May and Brendan, and then I like Wally because he gets so much hate, but he's just trying his best. See, I think part of why Wally gets so much hate is that he has one Pokemon his entire playthrough. You fight him with <laughs> one Pokemon, and you're just like Wally, what are you doing? And then he's like, let me fight you in the final match with all these Pokemon that I have no relation to story wise, and I'm just like. They could have done that, that's so fair. much better yeah. with him. Honestly, in my opinion, I feel like mm -hmm. I feel like he's a good character, but they built him wrong. I guess is the best way to put it. Yeah, yeah, he has a good character potential, but I will agree that like with as much as you could be meeting him along the way, he could be talking about like mons that he caught, similar to what Blue did in uh, Gen One or Gary, yeah, I guess. Um, which my favorite rival is probably. Ooh, I would honestly... Silver. Silver's fun, yeah. I like silver a lot. Um, 
He's so easy to hate. I love that. Right. Yeah, I would say blue or silver. I think that blue kind of goes off a, the rails a little bit, so I'd probably go silver, actually. Um, <laughs> because I like Barry, but Barry's just like, let me just run everywhere and then be annoying with his energy. Yeah, Barry is very annoying, which is why we decided to choose Barry to be the annoying QBs that we dislike so much. Yeah, there's actually further explanation to why we did this. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I... Because Silver just, you can, he gets mad and you could make him mad and angry. Um, yeah. I would love, so I've been playing Persona a lot recently. I would love it if Pokemon kind of implemented a thing where you could like interact with your rival and you could say certain things to your rival and it would change the context of the story. Oh my God, that would be amazing. Like have an actual arc that you can do. Yeah. Because you... It would help customize your journey a lot, too, actually. Yeah, I feel like... Because, I mean, a lot of RPGs do that, where they're like, oh, yeah, like, here, talk, say this. That. The only thing that I would say is make sure... Because I hate when RPGs do this, is when they give you the... Dis oh, God, Jonas, I need your help, because I can't freaking figure out the word. But it's like when you pick a decision, and all decisions lead to one, so it's like a false decision... I, there's a word for that, and it's making me mad. But it's like the disguise of decision that I don't like. Are you trying to look up the word for me, <laughs> or did you die and disappear? Oh no! Joy. My mic came unplugged. Oh, so we'll go, go ahead, ahead and pick the first one. Uh, well, not pick the first one. Verbiage is important. We'll go ahead and look at the first one. There you go. We're going to go ahead and pick the first one. <laughs> it's an Arceus. Freaking John. Okay, look. Now, if here's, here's the funny thing, though. Primary typing. Yeah. If all three of mine are normal, I am going to be unbelievably upset. I will be so sad. I, I randomized this one myself based on your settings, so I will be very, very mad. Okay, we're taking the first ones. What is yours? It's a Celio. <laughs> That's amazing. Now we have to do our due diligence. We have to look at the others. Yeah. It makes more sense, but like I get freaking Sammy. You get we get the best possible water to normal pair. Like we can't. <sighs> my God. Okay. okay. What, what is what is your middle one? Just for the sake of argument. Oh my God! It's oatmeal. <laughs> And, and and mine is a snover, <laughs> so that couldn't be paired anyway. As grass. And then my third one is is a cherim, <laughs> so we're not picking that one. Yeah, no. Okay, my my third one is a clay doll. So I'm not mad. It's mace. Hi, how you doing? I'm gonna go take Sammy. We have to, right? It's literally God and Sammy. It, yeah. Now here's the thing, though, John. Remember, we have to name them after either our. Uh, favorite home teams of the NFL or a player. I, I'm going to go ahead and just do Seahawks because I like the Seahawks okay. defense. They're, they're, they okay, do I'm, I'm good with that. All that stuff, so. Uh, Sammy. Watch this. Oh, cute. I'm so curious. Can I see? Don't don't battle me yet. I feel like he does battle you like instantaneously, though. Yeah, I, I think he does. And you got Sammy, which I'm going to have. I do. I'm gonna have to name this Lions, I think. Oh my gosh, this moveset is <laughs> weird. I don't know how I feel about weird God's in a moveset. good way. <laughs> it's got minimize, assist, Same, you know. captivate, and rock slide. Ew. Captivate's weird though, because doesn't it like lower like the special attack or something? I. I'm not sure. I think it does, but doesn't it only work against the opposite gender, which is kind of dumb for a genderless mom? Oh my gosh, you're right. You're so right. So this is kind of a really... We need to learn what they... Like, what levels they learn stuff at. Quickly. Every ten levels for me. Every ten level. Oh god, John. Yeah. So, I'm stuck with this moveset for quite a while. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Oh, I didn't even look at what my mom has. Let me take a look at that. Careful nature... Oh, that's that doesn't sound good. That's like hmm. 
kind of a both good and bad. Because I don't know how to feel about that. Me neither. It's like... Mine doesn't help. Mine gives makes me get damaged in the sunlight. Ooh, ouch. Okay. And I don't know how to feel about that. Um, my, my ability is scrappy, which is fine, but... Um, I don't have any normal type moves anyway. I have Ice Beam, Air Slash, Morning Sun, and Water Sport. Ice Beam and Air Slash? Out the get? Yeah. Yep. From the jump. What do you feel about, like, our starters and the way that, that it's looking right now? Because I feel like our starters are pretty good. Like, Yeah, I, I think that um, taking God might not have been the best of ideas as far as their moveset goes, but we didn't know that at the time, of course. And... Why would you ever turn down God? Like, yeah. you're not gonna you're not gonna see an Arceus and not yeah take it like, like come on now it's 100 no like I get that I just got I mean it's the most busted normal type to be honest well mm, actually I disagree with that sentiment I really? I think that the most busted normal type in this kind of randomizer is slacking. Yes, 100%, because I think it would have more power than what Arceus would actually have. Yeah. Because... I mean, its stats itself wouldn't be better, but if you can get a good ability on your slacking, you're golden. Well, yeah, because it has 165 base uh, attack and 100 base speed, so... Yeah. It's like, yeah, I lose out on some speed, but gain, like, a lot of attack. So yeah, so my first thought is going to get defense because, you know, even though typically you get a running back first, I don't have to worry about people taking that. So we got Seahawks. Yeah, exactly. And I just think that starting off with our um, our favorite teams our favorite teams would make the most sense for building like our favorite teams. Yeah, right? like... So I'm just going to grab this potion real quick because I, I need that. What potion? The the guy in the grass in um oh yeah route uh, the the first route I always get that and people that I watch play it you know who you are but yeah no one seems to get that potion and as someone who likes as many free things as I can get yeah I I am very disturbed that they never do why do people underrate that so much I I don't know healing is op I mean unless you're doing a randomizing where you can't heal which some people do or you you can't get field items which would kill me by the way if i was ever doing a challenge where you're only allowed to buy yeah that would suck i couldn't i would i would lose immediately because i would just accidentally pick something joy up. has conditioned me to not do that <laughs> so yeah. hashtag blame joy that you're never gonna see a run like that because yep nope <laughs> yeah no exactly <laughs> I, I almost want to do one of those just because i think it would be really really bad for me I mean... As someone who loves hidden items as much as I do? Yes, but... I don't know. I couldn't... Like, the only generation where maybe I could get away with doing that is X and Y. But that's a hard me. Hmm, yeah. Because here's the thing with... I still want to play those. I haven't yet. I need we, to. You know, we're going to at some point, like, a couple years down the road. It's fine. We got it. <laughs> We need to work our way up to that first. Yeah, I mean, we still have Gen 1 to do. <laughs> People talked about that. Oh my that. god, we do. People talked about that, actually. Oh my god, we do. Charizard, Charizard actually was like, hey, wh what about Gen 1? And we're like, we'll get there. It's fine. <clears throat> we'll be fine. Yeah, maybe maybe we should do the remakes of it and do Fire Red and Leaf Green just so we don't go all the way back. I mean, honestly, it would be kind of funny to watch us go all the way back, but we'll leave that up True, to them. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's a future thing. Not, that's not, not a now, now thing. thing. So don't so. have to worry about that. Joy and I are pre-planners, if you guys haven't figured that out already. Um, yeah, to be fair. <laughs> um, I, I like to plan things out. So, so question. I've talked mm -hmm. to Mother. I, yeah, my, my lag. I'm still dealing with... What's his face? Lucas? Oh, yeah. I was like, Lucas? I don't know. This, this you're, you're right. I think his, his name, name is Lucas. Lucas. I, I said I was worried. I was confused because I'm, so, I'm never used to seeing Lucas. Um, oh, yeah. Because uh, I, I always pick uh, the male characters. blitz over there. So. Uh, only time I don't pick the male characters when I meme and call myself Joy and then I pick the female character for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've done that Fair. a couple times, actually. Uh Oh. Uh, okay, so what was your question? 
I'm talking to mom soon. Oh, I was gonna see what you wanted to do with the Pokeballs and stuff like that. And if you wanted me to grab items, then I was like, no, I probably shouldn't. So I, I answered that question. <laughs> okay. Also, Jonas, you have forever changed my the way I view Magmar. Oh, yes, I know he has. He's he's forever changed the way that I view a lot of uh, Pokemon. I, I, I was gonna say things, yeah. but. Well, that's true too. Um, I mean, yeah, that's, that's fair too. But but yeah, I, I just saw Magmar, and the initial thought was, so, what bra do you need to wear, Magmar? Like, <laughs> like take it, Jonas. That's a Jonas thought right uh, yeah, there. Was, wasn't wasn't the joke that like it needed two, or or one of them one of them needed three? Yeah, something needed three, and I can't remember what did. I don't know, but it was that entire lock was. Uh, certainly something hey, yeah cool, soft it really was I, I i had a lot of fun with it but it was just like what is going on <laughs> there, there was a lot of moments of what the heck is going on so but that's kind of what made it fun too in a way yeah I mean, and i like how like the things that we do change what we do going forward so much yeah like everything has a new memory attached to it and it's just that way forever now like you know this feel is forever gonna be sammy yeah Vile Bloom is always going to be oatmeal. Dragonite's always going to be woof. You know, there's little little references that we need to address one of these names. Yeah, well, we also need to explain them sometimes for the newer audiences. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well. I mean, whenever we catch one, we can explain why they're called what they're called. Well, but... I mean, the problem is we can't call them that, though, in the way that we're doing it. I which know, is hard. Yeah. It, like, feels like I'm going against... I hate that. The Pokemon, it you know, because it's like you always are called this. So why am I calling you this? Oh, <laughs> well, all right. Well, uh, the lock has started for me regardless because I just picked up a Pokeball. Joy on the beach. It's on the beach. There's no more grass I can okay. get into. It's fine. Um, yeah. I hope that I don't get an encounter on this route when I go to leave. I shouldn't, but go away, Lucas. Thank you. Okay. I. Uh, Wow, I was one patch of grass away from getting out of here, and I got an encounter. Cool. Oh, on two or two. Uh, the one where you get the the pokeballs at, yeah. Damn, dang. Well, I mean, look, it's not like it's our first time doing that. In one of our old series, we also got encounters out of order, so. Yeah, that's true. We can do it this way. Um, so I could also just negate this one, because it's a level three Aerodactyl. What's your your starter was what again? Uh, Celio. Oh, yeah. Please do. I don't want to risk that. You want me to just run? Yeah, because I, I just, I'm scared of one move in particular. So yeah, we don't want to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I am a level seven, but also Aerodactyl does kind of scare me. I back and, to uh, Since. What? I, I'm, I'm gonna run from this. I just want to make sure that you're not talking about yours before I run. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can run. Um, you okay, have the you. free reign. I can't escape. Oh, frick. <laughs> and it has ancient power, so it's not... It's not It's not the bad. Levels. No, but I'm, I'm gonna hit it with an ice beam and uh, try to kill it. I mean, if you freeze it... Then I'll try to catch it. Yeah. And it hasn't gotten any boosts yet. Um, it's faster than I am, because of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, I killed it. We're fine. We're fine. So then I can't believe I was trying to get out of the grass and I was one patch of grass away from getting it. <laughs> I'm so mad. Does it is it sharp okay. evasive? Oh no, it's only one. Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna heal and then I'll meet you down there. Uh what was your encounter on that grass? My encounter is a male magmar. Here's one thing though that I'm looking at is if it's a, is it a Sammy or is it a Sam? It's a Sam. It's the Celio. It's the middle evolution. There was a distinction there because Sammy is the spiel. Then it goes Sam, which is the Celio because it wants. It's in a. It's in a mood, right? It doesn't want to actually like be. Oh, I caught it. It doesn't want to actually be an adult, but it also doesn't want to be a kid anymore. So it, it gets to that phase. Yeah. And then Samson, who accepts the fact that he's his full name doesn't have a nickname <laughs> and realizes that he's an old old boy so that's yeah. 
I, I, I love Samson. That, that is the entire arc of uh, my mascot. It's Sammy, Sam, Samson. I was going to say Samuel, but Samson just felt so much more, like, powerful, which makes sense because he's, like, a giant walrus dude, so. He's got a lot of power. Yeah. Uh... Okay, I, my, my encounter is a centret. And and it's not catching, and I can't touch a it. So a centra, and yours was male, right? Yeah. Yeah, mine's female, so I have to I have to catch this. Which means we can't even use it. I mean, yeah, I mean, fur is not bad, but I don't anticipate losing God and and Sam. So I also don't want to waste all of my balls because I still have the lake. But you did catch a really good fire type. But not that we can actually use it, though. All right, there we go. I caught it. Uh, what are you naming Magma? Justin Jefferson. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, I'm, I'm going to name this Cousins, then. Honestly, that fits. I, I, I can see Cousins as a centric. I can, too. Sorry, Buff, but I can. Uh, you sold a rock that sense. How could she when you have her offside? Um, I did it because I needed money, okay? I get that it was a good <laughs> item, it's something that is probably, and it's good because it boosts the power of rock type moves by 1.2 times, but I'm also an Arceus, I don't think I need to do that. Yeah, honestly, you don't really need the boosts, you're, you're fine, and money is always more important early game in my opinion. Yeah, that's how I feel too. Can I just go okay, and see what my encounter is... would have been? Do you mind? Yeah, I, I'm not going to catch this either, but yeah, sure, go ahead. What is it? Uh, my encounter is a Mesprit. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't anticipate catching this thing, but I'm gonna try. Um, what do you, what do I hit it with? I don't think I can hit it, can I? Can you? I don't know. I'm, I'm five levels higher with Ice Beam and Air Slash. So it is a Mesprit. Although Mesprit's the off the the mid tier one, right? The one that's like everything is. It's not defensive, but it's not offensive. Right, I was wondering if it was specially defensive, because that's what my moves are. Are there because there's a physical special split and I have all special moves, I think. I want to say it's like 95 95. Hmm. Okay. Just so I'm not being dumb, let me check my moves. Uh, Air slash if you're hitting it unless you have a worse move. Yeah, yeah, air slash is 75, ice beam is stab, and 95, so I should air slash it. But what else, what else do you have? Uh, morning sun and water sport. Those are the only two moves that I have that can attack, is ice beam and air oh. slash. Yeah. Oh, that's a really good defensive Pokemon on my side. What is it? Tent, 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 not Tentacruel, Tangrowth. Okay, so primary grass, then we'll pure grass. Yeah. And psychic. That'd be a really good thing we can add. So I'm going to air slash it because there's no way I'm catching it at, at full health with just a ball. So. Also ironic that you encountered Mesprit at the Lake Verity where it actually usually hides. Honestly. <laughs> I, I would be concerned that I didn't randomize this correctly if it wasn't for all the other things that I faced. Yeah. All right, let's see what it does. Uh... Got a crit. Thanks. Thanks, Lions. It, it died. It died? To a crit. Okay. Yeah, to a crit. Because of well, I'll rock slide and see if and, my anticipation was... And I'm leveled up to nine now, so it's even more powerful. Oh, I could have rock slided this for days. Okay. <laughs> my bad. But, I mean, to be fair, there was nothing I could do about that. And I'm just... I was afraid of the Aerodactyl as well, so... So we only have one Pokemon. We do. But, I mean, hey, it's a Celio and God. So, and we have like I think 500 we're fine. more encounters, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, we're, we'll be fine. And those will be for the next episode, I would assume. Yeah, yeah, it is. Because we're 30 minutes in, um, and you have some things to go tend to. I do, in a few minutes anyway. Yeah. So, freaking, what is it with me in the last patch of grass in an area where I always will get an encounter right before I'm free of it? <laughs> uh... This happens every time, I swear. So, Go away, Azuril. This is a perfect thing to end off on. Celio is waving us goodbye, having a great time, and it's intimidating us to make us go watch our show. So, wow. Okay. <laughs> Sammy's, Thanks, Sam. Sam is like, you go watch your show or I'll kill you. So, 
to avoid Sam killing us. There's something us, really ironic then... <laughs> about that as well. <laughs> yeah, that is. So yeah, <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next episode. We will meet you guys at the top of Route 202 because we're going to train ever so slightly. Not a lot. We don't really need to do that a lot, but we just want to make sure just in case. Um, yeah, just right before the first trainer. So yeah, so that's where we'll meet you. And we'll see you guys in the next one.